All right, today we're going to make a homemade spaghetti sauce. Now the old Italian, like my grandfather used to call this gravy, but I'm the Italian American and I call it sauce. So first we're going to start, we have a little olive oil in here, probably about uh, three tablespoons of oil. Just make like a little puddle of oil in here. Uh, and I got about five cloves of minced garlic that I chopped up. Fresh garlic. What you're going to do here first, you're going to simmer this garlic just till it bubbles a little bit. Put it on low heat. Do not burn the garlic. If the garlic turns brown, you've got to throw it out. Start all over again because you're going to ruin the whole pot of sauce. So what I do is I just bubble it a little bit. To get the garlic into the oil flavor. That's all. That's all I do mine. It'll cook more when the sauce goes. I got crushed tomatoes imported from Italy. I'm going to put them in here. You could use whole tomatoes also, but you got to mash them up with a masher. So I just get the crush because it's kind of lumpy anyway. See the tomatoes is kind of lumpy anyway. They're like pre-mashed. So I've got three cans of crushed Italian imported tomatoes in here. I'm going to add Two cans of paste, Italian paste. These are six ounces. You can get one 12 ounce can if you want. The same amount. So I'm going to put the tomato paste in here. I could add a little water to this, to the cans and the paste to get the rest of the stuff out. Because the water is going to cook down anyway. As this cooks, it's going to condense, so you can always add a little water to this here, which I'll do in a little bit. I'll finish this off later. I don't stretch the video out here. So I got uh, three cans of crushed tomatoes. It's 20 ounce, 28 ounce cans. Two cans of uh, six ounce each of tomato paste. So mix this up real good. Put this on medium heat. When this cooks, it's going to cook for four hours. Three to four hours I cook mine on very low heat. If you put it on too high, you're going to burn the sauce. So I got my sauce here, and what I'm going to do, go ahead and add a little pepper to this. can always add more, don't add too much. A little pepper, salt. What I do with the salt is I take the palm of my hand, cup it, and in the middle I put my salt. It's probably about a tablespoon of salt. Half a tablespoon. I'm going to sprinkle my salt in there. I'm going to turn this heat down. This is cooking too much already. It's a big burner on this side. So I got my salt, my pepper in here. I got some parsley. I get it open here. 
some dry parsley. You can always use fresh if you want. Probably about a tablespoon or so of parsley. Sprinkle that around. A little bit, a couple of pinches more. So I got my dried parsley in there. This can's out of the way a moment. I'm going to add a little sugar to this. This is probably a tablespoon in here. But I just, what I do is I just sprinkle it along the top. Maybe a little less, maybe about a teaspoon of sugar. So that's probably about a half a tablespoon of uh, sugar. Just a little sugar in here, not too much. And mix this up real good. What's going to give this the flavor is the meat. I'm going to make some meatballs right now. So I got this sauce all going. A little olive oil, simmer about four or five cloves of garlic. You add your tomatoes, tomato paste, a little salt and pepper, parsley, and a little sugar. Bear with me a little bit. I'm going to bring the meatball board over here. Okay, the meatballs, I'm going to see if I can show you how to make the meatballs. We got some ground chuck here. We may make a couple of more in this. So this is probably about uh, two, two pounds, three pounds or so. Going to add one egg. To the ground chuck. A little salt. A little pepper. Now if you are on a salt free diet, then you can just skip the salt. Here. Some parsley. Sprinkle some parsley along the top. Now I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. These are plain breadcrumbs. Just sprinkle the breadcrumbs along the top. This is what holds it together when you make the meatballs. Right, let me wash my hands a moment. All right, now I'm going to combine all of this together. My hands, I just washed my hands. I got my meat. Two to three pounds. I got some more over there. Maybe I'll make a little another batch of meatballs. I take my meatballs. 
and just roll them around. And that's the size I usually make mine. Some people like them larger. But that's how I make mine. That's just the meatballs. Now what I'm going to do is I got a pan over here. Bear with me, I gotta wash my hands. I'm doing this here. Put the camera over in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer my meatballs in the olive oil. I'm going to brown them up on all sides. And I got some fresh sausage here. So I'm going to brown that up. And then once the, the meat is all browned, I'm going to put it in the sauce. So I'll get back with you on this here for the finishing up of the sauce with the meatballs in there. Okay, I got all my meatball and sausage is all browned and a little olive oil. I'm going to put them in the sauce. I always make extra meatballs, sausage. You get a nice roll, Italian roll. And you can make a little sandwich with them. A long time ago when I was working, I really didn't have time to cook when I got home. I was tired from working. So I used to make the big pot of sauce over the weekend and with a lot of meatballs in it. And when I came home, all I had to do was heat up some meatballs and sausage, and I had a nice sandwich. So, uh, always make extra meat. Now, I did add some water to this. I added a, uh, a 9 ounce bottle of spring water to this. I don't use tap water. Because it's going to cook down, and it's going to have no no sauce if you don't add a little water to it. So I got a lot of meat in here. So you're going to let this cook, simmer it low, as low as you can do it. I'm going to bubble it real slow. Cook it for about three or four hours. The meat, the meat will cook. I'm going to take a lid and I'm going to put the lid on. I'm not going to Put the lid all the way on. I'm going to leave it open a little bit like this to let the steam out. So simmer this, check it every once in a while, and stir it. Don't cook it too high or you're going to burn it. So I hope that helps out. Enjoy. That's homemade sauce that I make with meatballs and sausage.